Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We are belting through the coffee campaign. We are on day 29. It's a very special day because as well as being coffee campaign, it is also the day when all of our new 2019 recruits slash cadets join us. As you can see on the left here, the missions are going to get stupid ass big. We've got like 28 people for this mission, which is way more than we can handle, but we're going to do it anyway because we're sexy. Um, welcome boys. Hello everyone. Uh, right, everyone, let's yep. start on overview. We are on the 29th of September, day 29, and the time is... I'm going to change that to uh, that, and I've got to change it on this mission before we go, but that's okay. So it's going to be working its way into evening. So bear that in mind, at the end of the mission, it will be pitch black. Um, I've got an overview there. We will go through the same picture in Intel, so I'm not going to waste any time on it here. If anyone hasn't seen a coffee campaign before, then where are you? Uh, how have you lived? Uh, is our premiere campaign but the way it works is that we have a large continuous mission that we make small submissions out of every day and we're going to go through over the next 30 minutes or so and decide what today's mission is going to be so go and get yourself a cup of tea and join us next we're going to go to nav okay this is all correct and accurate weather is a south westerly wind off one seven knots ground that's a heavy heavy wind so bearing in mind the maximum takeoff of a Harrier possible is 20 knots. We're right at the edge of what a lot of these, some of these planes can tackle. Um, Harrier are going to be worse. 29 knots, so 30 knots at 26k. So these are all uh, quite a lot of, of knotage that needs considering. The base of the, is a thunderstorm. The base of the clouds is 6,000 feet, so no GBUs or laser guided niceties that would have been very useful on this mission, but that's just how it is. Thickness of cloud 2,000, density is 10, and it is a thunderstorm. Airfield, mm. primaries, Guadada, runway 15, left-hand circuit, diversion, Sukumi. Uh, Sukumi, primary, runway 12, circuit direction, left-hand, diversion, Guadada. Kobiletti, still got a bombed runway from Shifty uh, for one more mission, and it's choppers only, and it has a diversion of Batumi, even though you don't really need to divert if you're a chopper. Batumi is... Uh, it's not active at the moment, but it technically can be active. We'll, we'll talk about that a bit more on the mission. It's to me, it will be runway 13 and the left hand circuit direction, and there is no diversion. And today's support aircraft is Overlord and AWACS and E2 Hawkeye out uh, above our coastal uh, fleet uh, in the Black Sea, Radio 251 Alpha Mike. On to intelligence so the stop press one red for withdrawal and consolidation is complete so what happened is we pushed over the zagdidi river with our ground forces and there's been a major withdrawal of red ground forces on all sides as we'll see in a bit all red forces are now within 20 nautical miles as requested of kutesi sa10 Two, Kobiletti runway is damaged from recent uh, Red 4 bombing. The runway is, act runway is out of service for one more mission, which is this mission uh, for planes. Uh, three, Batumi, Red Armoured Company, no longer effective. Um, right, sorry, I just figured out what that meant. Yeah, it's because yesterday we took it, we took that company out with cruise missiles from a cruiser, which we've got near to Batumi, if anyone watched the armour mission. Next, um, notices, uh, both today. First of all, area is Batumi, runway 13. Runway 13 is open for business. Also, in-house discipline. We've had some complaints. Uh, we've got away from the disciplined ways of the coffee campaign that we need to sort of stop moving those boxes around. Um, that we need to, <laughs> first of all, no more taking it off on the taxiways, aeroplanes. Um, the reason why, I know technically a vegan could do it and a Harry could probably do it, but the problem is it it eliminates the point of bombing runways, either blue or red runways, uh, and things will get really ugly if we continue that. So taxiway takeoffs are now banned, unless for some special roleplay reason I need you to do it, but in other words, they're banned. Uh, that's takeoffs only. Um, yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, respawns. We've had some people uh, like re like taking off and um stalling their engine and stuff like that and respawning so we're going to say okay you can do that you can respawn because i want you to have a good mission obviously um if you crash and take off on your own without any you know hitting someone else's plane or something but if you do that and you want to respawn to have another go we're going to put you down as a team uh, as a team kill on rage's new punishment sheet uh so that's just the the encouragement 
for you to not cock up on your takeoffs, which everyone should be able to do by now. Should be able to take off your aeroplanes. Okay, there, guys. Um, targets and target alpha short range SAMs at Batumi. The coordinates roughly as shown as to center mass. Priority high threat red four cap fighters guided triple A, uh, sorry, unguided triple A. Um, no radar guided SAMs actually, so scratch that, but there are IR guided SAMs. Targets are SA 19s, SA 13, ZU 23s. That is, SA 19 is a Tunguska, Saklos. SA 13 is an all aspect Stinger type missile. IR missile and ZU 23s are unguided guns. Description Coastal SAM still active and preventing the use of the airfield. Now let's move down to the picture. If we look on the main zoomed out picture, Batumi is ripe for plucking. We have. Uh, we, we ransacked Batumi with TFA yesterday and killed most, well, just about all of the ground forces there. But it's still technically not our base. We need to take out these low-range SAM systems. So today's alpha mission is to take out those low-range SAM systems. Like I said, short range, they've got a maximum of about four miles, five miles. So Mavericks, uh, that kind of thing, will just about be within scope to destroy them. Okay, uh, and we have to do that. To complete the um, point of to another point of today's mission, which is at the end of this mission, we are landing at Batumi, not Sukumi. Assuming that we have destroyed these local SAMs and AAA. So today we are taking Batumi by landing our first jets there. Don't forget that and go back to Sukumi. If you have to go back to Sukumi for an emergency, do so. Otherwise, we're going to Batumi 1 3. Next, target Bravo type. Various location Sanaki coordinates none priority high. Maybe that should be medium actually. Priority is medium. Uh, so the medium today is uh, what I call targets of opportunity in the main mass of the red consolidation. Go to the main map. We see the reds have consolidated back within 20 miles of Gutezi, and we've got our um, two companies of ground units surrounding them from the northwest. So we pack them into that area. So targets of opportunity are in there. We'll go through what those targets are in a bit. Their defence will, of course, be cat fighters, guided AAA at SAMs and IR SAMs. The targets are all. Um, so, targets, example targets would be Sanaki Runway is a valid target. Technically, Kutazi would be a valid target, but none of you would be able to do it. Varied uh, armour targets. So, you've got two red companies or one and a half red companies in there of their mixed armour that can be taken out if you want. You've got short and long-range SAMs, IR and radar SAMs. You're welcome to pick out if, as you see fit. Scant inform information on locations, uh, so no INS coordinates. The reason is the withdrawal was recent and we don't have any settle satellite pictures. Target 3, Charlie type SAMs, location east of Kobuleti. Uh, coord rough coordinates you've got there. There was a clearing in the trees we noticed last time and there are two SAA OSAs in there. This is a medium priority, ideal um, opportunity for the helicopters as they're stations at Kobuleti. We know there's a clear, big clearing in the trees. We know there are two times OSAs in there, which are radar-guided SAMs of about eight miles range, six miles range. Um, choppers would be a good target on that. I wouldn't personally waste a Hornet missiles and stuff like that unless we absolutely have to. And description is two times red four OSAs on a hill. Okay, so that's that. Tertiary target, as ever, is India. It's a low priority and it's pushed back uh, east of where the picture is at the moment, so it would be a very hard target. Bearing in mind that um, we're not allowed to go any further east than where it says SA-11. Look where it says SA-11. That is a cutoff line for today's mission. You can't go back behind the Reds because uh, that is actually Coffee Phase 2 out there. So no cheating and flying vegans around the back looking at blood or whoever any of his compadres are. Okay. So looking at the targets of opportunity. The main, the biggie, we'll never get it, but the big, there's a big thing in there that's controlling this airspace is the SA-10. Look at the size of the SA-10 coverage compared to anything else. It dominates everything. One problem with us pushing the Reds back so far is they're tuck, tucked under this immense uh, Red 4 SA-10 type situation here, uh, which means you're going to have to adjust your tactics accordingly. You can't just, well, I'm just, we'll go over that in a bit. Uh, next is we've got two SA-6s in the north which are pulled back. We've got an SA-11 which is pulled east slightly there and probably about 30 to 40 small range systems. All targets of opportunity. 
Next, we've got the Hawk. This is a Blue Force system. However, the search radar was destroyed by Red Four a couple of missions ago, so it may probably won't work, but we've got it there anyway. And the Patriot is still up there in the northwest, just doing its Patriot thing. I've moved it a tiny bit forward, but only about 10 miles. Can we not repair it? Yes, we would have to make an agreement with the Red Four that Red Four can start repairing their SAMs. Um, that would be the only, so not for this mission at least. Next, notice we've um, succeeded in liberating one of the cruisers. This is the biggest change for Red Four. Uh, we've now got a cruiser down 15 miles southwest of Batumi, and this is giving us SAM, long range SAM coverage around Batumi. It's the main thing that's going to stop them bombing that runway, hopefully. Uh, the main reason it's there is to deliver Tomahawks to Batumi in yesterday's mission, but it is active there and firing. So we've got good defence. We've got Red Four closed in here, pocketed in, basically. However, their defence is much stronger than ours. So that is the targets of opportunity. Expected aircraft threats. There are still more than SU-33s and 27s and than we can possibly worry about at the moment. So they've got infinite, essentially for the moment, flankers flying at us. Well, not infinite, but you know what I mean. Ground forces are triple X Corp, 30 Corp, and uh, they are mixed. They're actually made of two companies, uh, two mixed companies, and they're together more or less along that northern western front. At location is Kutaisi, that's a mistake. No, it isn't. Uh, east of Zugdidi River is where they are. Uh, they're a medium priority, so they do need protecting, um, but I'm, un it's unlikely I think we'll see red attacking them. So just bear that in mind. And description is two times companies of triple X Corps pushing uh, red east. So we're pushing them towards Kutasi. That's what they're doing at the moment. They're pretty unstoppable at the moment. Inventory is very important. We are running out of F-15s. Bearing in mind we've only covered about a third of the coffee campaign so far. We've only got 15, 11 left. Hornets, we're running out. We've only got 12 left. Tomcats, we've taken a really nasty hit lately. We're down to 14. Mirage 2000s, lots of them. Lots more than we could ever use. If you are unconfident for any reason in this mission, fly a Mirage. If you are unconfident for any reason, fly an F-5. We've got lots of them to get through. SU-25 is 15, AGS-37 is 16 of them, we've got 15 AV-8Bs, 19 A-10Cs. Again, if you're unconfident for whatever reason, an A-10C would be a great choice because you won't get shouted at if you crash because I don't care if you lose an A-10C. Chopper's got 23. Every time we lose a chopper, we just lose a generic chopper rather than any particular airframe types. And um, that is it. The next thing we need to do, guys, target images I haven't put any in for today because we've got nothing uh, of relevance for today. So back to sign up. We need to decide. We've got 25 plus guys today, which is ridiculous. We need uh, some Red Four pilots, at least, at least four respawning head Red Four pilots. So give me two Red Four flanker pilots. Chop six can do it if you want. Chop six, bang yourself in there. And another. <laughs> you said you were going to fly a helicopter. Yeah, but you're full up. How do you fancy well, it? Well, I have just had me tea, yeah. Take one for the team. I'll do it, Cap. Who's that? Indigo. Indigo. You be Red 4. Right. Red 4, before I send you off, your mission today is just to try and keep us away. That's your only mission. If you want to add extra missions, you can do whatever you want, as usual. But just bear that in mind. No time restrictions, apart from the 90 minutes. Um, Shifty will tell you everything you need to know. Any questions from Red Four? Before oh, and you get two lives, so you blue red. Sorry, get to respawn once. Okay. Anything? Any questions from Red Four? That that cruiser down by Batumi is fully yes. operational. It's fully yeah. operational. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's that means you, you realise that that means we're stuck. We can't get anywhere near Cobaletti with that thing. No, nah, it depends how high you go. Uh, it's got. I tested it out. It's got 13 mile range. So not even to Batumi if you go low. If you go high, it can go up to about 40 miles. Okay. So slightly scaled down. SA10. There are only three guys in Red Four at the moment. Are we getting a fourth guy? Come on, guys. Let's work together here. Was it Chopsticks? Should be. Yeah, it was Chopsticks. The indigo, okay, we'll put, uh, indigo's in twice. Put your name in Chopsticks. Should be in there. Press the button with your mouse and then type your name. Oh, Indigo's typed over it. Oh, dear. Nah, someone put my name Indigo in just twice. I put mentioned. my name in and then someone else put Okay, Red 4, go to your own group now. You have a PV you have a red PvP. Get in there and start doing your own planning. And goodbye. Bye. Right. That's that. Boys, um, helicopters. So I made you a kind of little submission today, if you want it, which is we'll do helicopters first because it's easy. Uh, are they gone, by the way? 
Yeah, 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 I think so. Check on recording and I am. So if we go to Intel again, uh, I figured taking those SA8s out would be the best job for you. I mean, you could really come down and help us at Batum if you wanted. Um, it's up to what you guys feel is going to be most suitable. Uh, you can probably take the Strellas and the, and the Tungus. No, you'll get slashed by the Tungus because don't even try it. Scratch oh, it. Yeah. Um, the SA8s you can take on, which are those little ones just where the SA11 kind of needless pointing to those little ones there they're pretty easy as long as you go kind of below 50 feet they won't get a lock on you if you go but above 50 feet they will get a lock on you and obviously shoot you down so if you like go for that and because i'm not too worried about losing airframes at the moment you're welcome to either rtb afterwards or go north and just have a pop at whatever you want up there but obviously you've got to bear in mind there is obviously lots of stuff up there including flankers uh the your ability to stay alive today because you have the same rules as the rest of blue you get one life and that's it uh, even if you crash into a telegraph pole or whatever, looking at camera, you can't just respawn. Uh -oh. You have one life. Don't fuck up. Um, how to avoid, and that's why this is difficult, how to avoid flankers because they can track you and kill you very easily. Your only way of avoiding them is A, timing, B, altitude. Timing, so get them when you hear from the blues that they are uh, fighting. They're not going to worry about helicopters when they're fighting. And secondly... Um, if you're below 50 feet, and I mean scratching the surface, they'll struggle to pick you up. If you're just above the tree line, they'll probably pick you up. They do have look down, shoot down, remember. So if you get shot down, it's going to be your own fault, unless it's Whistler that shoots you down again. But we'll try not to do that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions from the helicopters? Well. Good. You know what you're um, doing? So it's So it's... The targets to the west, where the SA-11... Negative, that's there. east. East is right. Sorry, east. Roger, take, other, the, those the are your west. primaries, um, and any other, anything else you want to tackle is up to you. It depends how we, how much you want to risk of those airframes. Copy, copy. Okay, boys. Next, let's go to the meat of it. Uh, for the planes, we're going to split it into two. Task, task group one is Batumi, and that is, uh, that is uh, aircraft attacking those SAMs and then just landing at Batumi. Okay, and then once you've landed at Batumi, just log out. Don't mess around. Task Force 2 is targets of opportunity, and that is really up for you guys to decide. Um, that is attacking the bulk. Whether you just want to kill flankers, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to all your cap if you want and just kill flankers, or you want to kill some SA-11s. We'll pass that over to you in a minute. First of all, let's get Task Group 1 sorted, okay? First question is uh, sign up. Is every so I want to take the unless one has a major problem with it. I want to take the eight uh, the AVA Bs to do this task. Uh, the reason is they've got good weapons. They've got four Mavericks each. Uh, that seems pretty ideal to me. I don't know what you guys think, but the uh, the Harriers will rinse that area as long as we can keep the hostile cap out yep. of action. We will just decimate it. Roger. So what we need then now is a cap group. So what I'm going to do is split Buick in half. I'm going to put Signore. And Leighton into escort here, and they'll be in Eagles. Let me just sort this out. And lay Tom. Well, uh, thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so you're and um, Whistler. I'm going to chuck you with us. Um, you can always change this around slightly later. I'm just trying to get things moving. So what we've got is Sabre now, which is an F-15 and an F-15 and a Tomcat. Okay, they are going to be in Task Force One with Dagger. Protecting dagger, okay. Yeah, want to be uh, the, the, the way we'll okay. gotcha. we do this is by flying together, more or less. You know, um, first of all, two back to intelligence. So, from uh, basically, Whistler and Signore will take off straight away. Don't even wait for each other, yeah. just take off because these flankers will be sneaky today. They've got noobs okay. with them and they'll try weird stuff. So just get in the air from Granada, get to Sukumi and protect us. Now, that does not mean get sucked out 100 miles and run all your fuel out. It means just protect Sukumi until we're airborne. Um, you can just protect chainsaw them. Milk power chainsaw them there. All you got to do, you don't even need to kill them. Okay, okay. then once uh, Dagger up, that is uh, Task Force, uh, that is Dagger, that is the Harriers, you're going to protect mm -hmm. us to Waypoint 1. Waypoint 1 is out to sea, uh, the gasworks. Can you all see the gasworks at the south west? Uh, where bullseye uh, is. Is it just the water? Where bullseye is, yeah. yeah. This is how we're going to evade those flankers. We're going to go out there with our protection. Then we're going to head inwards, uh, probably with our cap leading us to Batumi. At that point, uh, Sabre, your job is to just keep Batumi clear uh, so the Harriers can do their job. Okay? So that's that sorted. Next, we're going to put Task Force 2 together. So 
back to sign up. Uh, the first thing is they need some cap cover. Kingston, you a Tomcat? Kingston's not here. He needs to drop out. Yeah. Is he not going to be here? Or? He can't. He can't make it. Roger. Put him away. Oh, I can run horn. Um, I can run Tomcat with him. Who are you? Cosmic. Cosmic. Right. Oh, that's a red tree. Right. Um, I'll put you up there. <laughs> Tomcat. Right, so that's a three-man. We really want that to be at least four-man because you are taking on four respawning flankers. So another guy to go into Buick will be useful in a minute. But Buick, you are the escort for Task Force 2. That means get up airborne ASAP. It means get over to Guadal... I'm not probably not making... Because there's so many people there, I can't make a pretty, pretty movie of this. So don't worry about going around in tight formations for the cap unless you want to. Uh, get up fast. Get to Sukumi. Protect Sukumi again until your Task Force 2 is up. And your Task Force 2 is going to be, by the looks of things, Halo, Seed Guys. Mm -hmm. um, we've, got oh, Wild, oh, we've got Wildcat and we've got Whiskey. Uh, so, Halo, are you guys uh, the Hornets, yeah? I've, yep. Um, we've, I've got an idea that I want to Send. attack either Sendaki or Katezi with JSOs. Mm -hmm. A lot of JSOs all at once and try and overwhelm them. Yeah, so event. I was thinking maybe if we looks like we've got at least one frog foot that could come with us to fire off some anti radiation missiles. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just thinking try and overwhelm because we could take 36 JSOs and will, we might get them through. Will they be able to get past the? Uh, will you be able to get close enough to Samaki past the? We SL? can, I yeah, we can that. launch from north of that Zugdidi River. That's well within envelope of we're up at Angels 30. You better make um, sure you all stick together then, because if you get separated, that's going to be ugly to coordinate that. How what's, that what's that what? SA-10 going to do when we're up at Angel 30 at that location? We've been over that area before, dropping JDAMs and whatnot within that kind of range of the SA-10, and it's not bothered us. So unless something's okay. changed, we should be okay. okay. If we went for Sendaki, that's the easier one, because we can be almost um, just south of Tsukimi, Tsukimi to get that. Yeah, it would be best. Uh, it makes so more sense, see. really, to go. I mean, it's it's more out of spite that way to do Katezi, but I think um, if we can knock Katezi out, we put them out of action. Not being yeah. funny, if we can put the Red Force out of action, that allows us to properly well, move at the moment. Technically, are they actually technically they move, If you move, if you kill Katezi, which you're welcome to do, guys, that puts them out of action for three days. But they actually move to Sanaki, so Sanaki needs to go down as well. Um, uh, they took it down with RB15s, if you remember, the other day, but it was unanimously voted that that would be discounted. So, well, so shall we, tactically shall we do Sandaki because it's nearer? Yeah, and well, it makes sense to go for that one first. Roger, that's up to you guys. If you want to try it, you could, you could carry out a double strike, take out Snarky yeah. first, reload, and. Well, I've got the coordinates down for both, so we'll see. But my, my thought was if the, if the JSOs fail the first time, they don't get through. It'll be quick for us to get up and do that. We can get back and load up with harms and do mm -hmm. some uh, need. Roger. Yeah, I, I th yeah, I think no probably the best, the, the, your best uh, like compromise. You first start off, just start off with the JSOs at Sanaki. If that doesn't work, then just go back and change to harms and just. Uh, that was just, my thought. Um, well, delete we could, all the uh, Sam's in the area. Yeah, we could do both as well. So anyway, even if it, it if it does work, so we can uh, come in for Sanaki. That way, they're they're taking off from. Uh, Katasi, and once Sanaki's out, once we take out Katasi a few days later, then they've got no, nothing yes, else. Yes, that's exactly right. If we can do that all within three days, that pushes them back to Tbilisi, which is a game changer. So that's fine, guys. I'm happy with that. So, and it also makes it easier for the SU-25s to have a go at Sandaki rather than trying to get to Katasi. Copy. Um, is Shadow here? No, I'm going to delete him then. He's put himself down, so I'm to get rid of him. Uh, Elo, you look like that is your job. Pair of KH 58s. Um, go towards the hostiles, try not to get shot down, and launch some KH 58s or something. You happy with that? Copy that. Personally, uh, I don't know. the bathroom. Roger. Um, maybe we should go in with Harms first. And All right, so I'm flying with the uh, sound. Hey, Hello. Uh, you're flying on and your own, Elo. Copy that. Um, until, yeah. Uh, yeah. We can have a chat about that in a minute, saying let's sure All right, Roger. get through it, then we'll uh, we'll do it together. Okay, um, hello, until I assign you some more teammates, you're on your own. Uh, the key is, I can't see you doing much damage, one frog foot on his own, but and I wouldn't suggest taking short-range missiles of any kind, because you won't get close enough, I can guarantee that. But take a couple I'll of 58s, launch them off, go back home, more K-58s, launch them out, 
Uh, it's just going to keep them busy. Right. Copy that. Next, we've got some unassigned gentlemen. We've got Baby Bear, Harrison, Seahorse, Rex, and Florida. One of you guys, for a start, you can't have Hornets because we've used them all up. We've got four, and that's as many as we've got. Next thing, um, I need one of you to go... I need really two of you to go Cap, one of you to go in Buick, and one of you to go in Sabre, uh, because we need stronger forces to protect us. Harrison, do you want a Tomcat in Sabre? Can I steal Harrison for my flight, because I've lost a Tomcat? Yeah, we're looking for you. Where are you? Yep, Harrison, are you an uh, aviator? Uh, yeah, I can do uh, sidearms in it. I'm going to try and put you in there. Can you do Mavericks as well, mate? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a quick look. Right, put him in, Cypher. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, to be honest. Um, right, that's that. And Cap, guys, I haven't got much... Florida wants to be a Warthog, and that's fine with me. Um, I can I... go at 14 as well, if you need me up there. You need to say your names, I don't know any of you. Florida. 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 Um, what did you want to do, Florida, sir? I can go at 14 as well if you need me up there. Roger, I'll... Before I choose you, let me see Seahorse, because I know Seahorse. What are you doing, Seahorse? Or what are you good at? Or what are you useful for? Um, if we've got another one, I wouldn't mind doing a Harrier. Uh, I think we've only got four. I know we've only got four, boys, I'm afraid. There's only three taken right now. Um, Harrison's going to move across. Ah, oh, I can't want to type in the fucking box. Right, someone's done it. Right, Florida. Um, I, oh no, you wanted an AV8, didn't you? And I can't give it to you. Um, what you can do, Florida, mm. is that Warthog, and you can come along with the um, Harriers. Uh, you will lag back a bit, but uh, it's a perfectly good way to get mission experience, and we might even be able to use you at um, there. So you certainly won't be any use with Task Force Two. Uh, uh, a Warthog won't be any use in Task Force Two. Shall I? Ta so be whiskey, but tune into. Uh, Daggers, Flight Freak of 124, and you follow us mm -hmm. in your Warthog. Yes, Florida? Um, fair enough. Uh, for the main strike, yeah. No, yes. Cap. Uh, toss, send. Cap, Baby Bear, I'm happy in the Mirage. Lovely. That's absolutely perfect. Um, I'll take you with me. So that's, you're going with Sabre. You're under Signori's control. I'm just going to call you Bear, and I'm going to take you Mirage. Feel free to get shot down because I don't care about Mirages. <laughs> Uh, that's that. Um, <laughs> meat shield. Rex, we'll send what, you, what can you do? Uh, well, I've been flying Hornets only, and I'm good in UE, so if, but I have to reset my machine here. I could join Zulu, maybe? Zulu. Where's Zulu? Uh, Zulu. That's the helicopter to UE. Ah, fuck. Oh, sorry, guys. I uh, forgot. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, Rex, sure. You... sure. You take the Huey, I'll go with Elo and the Frogfoot then. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good, guys. Okie dokie. Right. I'm happy with that, guys. I'm happy with that. Seahorse. Seahorse needs a spot. Obi, you're uh, yeah. captain overall command of uh, Task Force 1. Obi, you're in overall command of Task Force 2. Uh, okay. Next, we need to do the rebacks to make sure people are understanding. So. Seahorse needs a spot. Seahorse, why did you delete yourself and what do you fly? Talk. Uh, I could fly 18 Harriers. Uh, I could just. If you said you got a surplus of F5, so I could just mm -hmm. get one of them and uh, go on a, a wild mission. Yeah, I'm, actually, I've got a use for you, you know. Well, the one thing I wouldn't mind having is a throwaway wild weasel uh, for us Harriers to, to go and get those Tunguskas yeah, firing. Oh, Roger. Uh, we're going to put you under Whiskey Anzillary. You're part of Dagger. Uh, what's yeah. your name? Seahorse and an F5. Um, so that suits me. Seahor. <laughs> it gets what he deserves, boys. Right. Seahor. All right. Hold back. Quick question. Send. Well, welcome to the team, Seahors. Cos Cosmic, mm -hmm. how, many, how, many towels, how many towels can you put on a Tomcat and still remain effective air to air? None. No. Two. Two. Uh, you probably did two. Probably not worth it then. I was just thinking you could fire some towels you into You can carry them. four phoenixes. You're, we've we've and tried two this towels. in we've tried this in control conditions. You'll never get them to marry up with the JSOs, don't bother. Uh, Roger, leave it then. Okay. I think uh for us, me and Elo, we will work with Halo, so we will do most we'll do the seat so that Halo Roger. can do the JSO. Right, well just remember that Halo are going back like seventy miles, so just you know, if you follow them out you won't be able to use your weapons. So just bear that in mind. We've got some um time on target information for JSOs and flight times and stuff, so we can try and coordinate slightly. Okay, yeah. yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. Coordinate, ideally. That would be optimal. Okay, that's fine. Right, we're going to go through the checks. Uh, 
22 now, so we've got to get on with it. Rex, um, what is the mission for Zulu? Send. <laughs> I'm guessing he's gone. Um, Soames, what is the mission for Zulu? Uh, SA8, uh, east of uh, Carboletti. Roger, and if you finish them off, what are your two options? Uh, head north uh, towards Katasi, uh sorry, not Katasi, to Kolki, uh, and take out targets of opportunity, or alternatively to meet on the coast. Roger. Higher risk, but we're going to pass that on to Rex when he gets in. Um, Wildcats, Ello, uh, what are you guys up to today? What area, uh, what task force are you in, and what are you uh, tasked against or to do? Uh, mostly take off, stay out of trouble, lob in. Uh, 58s at targets of opportunity. That's uh, our main task is to concentrate around Sunaki. Roger, that is pretty much correct. Uh, the full answer is you are in Task Force 2 under Obi's overall control, and you are indeed low in KH 58 in Disanaki. Try not to get shots, so don't get too close, boys. Uh, be patient. Um, Happy that. Whiskey, uh, Florida. Uh, who are you flying with and who are you subordinate to? I'll be joining up with Dagger under Cypher, pushing down to Batumi, assisting where I can. Hey, fair. Um, my only suggestion is go fairly light so you can do your best attempt at keeping up. Um, Ripcord, what is Halo's task today or mission today? We are going to Jason out of the crap out of Sanaki. And then come back and get some seed and then take us some sand. Roger. Bozo, assuming it's safe, where do you land today when the mission is finishing? Uh, uh, Batubi. Which runway? Uh, uh, runway 13. Correct. Um, King Gear. Oh, that's my boy. My boy's here. Um, <laughs> King Gear, what is, Dagger's, what is Dagger's mission today? I believe Dagger's mission is to uh, clean up Batumi, and then after that, land at runway 13. Correct. Harrison, how are we getting there? So, so. How are we getting there, Harrison? Um, sorry, we're going out to the oil platform, then coming in from the sea. Correct. Leighton, who is Sabre's main charge of protection today? Who are you protecting, oh, Leighton? Oh, the ground pounders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which task force? Who specifically? Two? Like he means uh, which uh, flight? Dagger, I think. Yes, you correct. Did Make sure you get that right. Uh, you got it. Buick Grumpmeister. Um, who is your main charge today? Our main charge is to uh, provide cap for uh, Halo flight. Who's going to be Task Force Bravo under command of Obi? I like that guy. He's got he's got promise, boys. Right. Yeah, he does. <laughs> okay, let's um, go and get this sorted. I'm gonna get the go. Oh shit! I need to get the server up. Fancy takeoff stay. It's gonna literally be rolling in sequence. Two. Three. Cap, Signori, uh, radio check. Send. All right, I'm. Uh... Going to the runway right now, Gudada, and I'm about to take off for the uh, cap over. What was it? Sukumi, so copy, see you in three mics. Yeah. Alright, see ya. Lovely bit of sky, boys. Maintain spacing, guys, just in case a flanker gets through. Alright, Captain, you in the air. Copy. Crew 2, Whistler and Mahuja, taking Gudada 1 5.
Uh, guys, check the far end of the runway. You can see a ch white chimney. That chimney is blowing right to left. We will be blown right to left. Scratch it. It's going to be blowing our tail left, isn't it? And our uh, copy right. Yeah, just tell you roll nice and slow until you've got a hang of what's going on. Then you can hit the power. We've got plenty of runway for us. Uh, cap, your lights are all on. Signore cap, signore cap, are we clear to so take off? Do you want me to uh, jump across? Yeah, you guys are clear to take off. I have one bandit, one two one for 80 on the deck from uh, my position, which is 10 miles north. Task Force coming. 1, Dagger taking off now. Okay, off you go. Uh, putting the course to the right obviously. Yeah, like I said, roll in sequence, but nice space, and we don't want to cock up on takeoff. Yep. Guys, try not to follow the line of the guy in front of you, so we can try and avoid some wake. Is that the centre you're going on there, Cypher? Yeah. Trying to, it's, uh, you want to go left rudder as you accelerate. Roger, left rudder. Two rolling. Yeah. That's a nice bit of wind. Yeah, it's not too bad though, I've had worse. Okay, I'm on the right bank, turning towards the fleet. Copy, keep it slow until we're all up, please. Hey, firm, I'm dropping down to 80, uh, 75 RPM. I'm going to aim, aim for uh, Angels 5. Two. Power, power. We haven't done a red defense yet. Cap spike, big 29, question mark. Power. Warning up, Mavericks. Power, power. Power, power. Speed check lead. Power, power. Two, five, seven. Look at that sun. Oh, Jesus, it just came out. I nearly whacked it there, Jesus. My bad. I was blinded in the fucking sun. No, I've got a fish on yet. Yeah, I'll slow down. Basically, they could take us, yeah, they take us towards the fleet, so then once we're near them, they turn me now. down. Okay.
How are you doing, A10? A10, I guess you're number four. Cap, are we free to um, prosecute? Roger, Roger. Check that. Um, I've taken off, currently heading towards fleet at 230. Trying to shortcut a bit to compensate. We're Oscar Mike. Task Force One, yes, and yep, all come with us. Okay, cool. Can we move right echelon? Sure. Boys, have a good look at each other, make sure there's uh, no one's got flaps down, gear down, all the usual shit. Dagger, um, if we do get jumped in ACM again, which is very possible with flankers, I suggest we head into the clouds. It'll be really hard to find us yeah, there. Yeah, World War II style. Yeah, straight into the clouds. If we get jumped, get in there. Um, and just bear off the oh, go feet wet as deep as you can. You just keep your, give our cap plenty of time.
Hornet with us to give us SA. Negative. No, we've got jack shit SA. Oh, we've got his whistler. Dagger type to any Hornets. Do you, can you give us some situational awareness, please? Oh, I just put three on my wing. Nice flying three. Okay, Dagger Fly. It's long range of hard to tell on the FA page, but you have got two bandits that you are 12 o'clock. One is hot on you. Range probably 20, 30 miles. Um, second hell? bandage is bandit flanking right to left. And then you've got a third bandit. So you're three o'clock out to sea. Copy, uh, copy that shit, shit that close. Uh, very hot on you, yeah, I would uh, oh, Okay, okay guys, we're gonna break right, okay? Let's break right and let the cab do another... Let's break right and let the cab do another... Yeah, we're right with you right now, I'm looking for that hot bandit. Speaking to the Harriers, right? Hey firm, can you push on, push on the target and try and just delay them? Yeah. Yeah, we'll Buick, Buick is currently pushing south momentarily, we'll be coming back north soon, but we are pushing south. Can you give us the heading you're flying on to cold on Dagger now? And I've lost the tracking for the main gun. I've got one target cold, uh, it's 110 from Sukumi. Uh, one target hot, and uh, looks like there's a third target in about somewhere hiding behind a hill or something. Okay, Dagger Flight going this level. We've got plenty of fuel, so I'm not going to risk pushing in until we know we're safe. Copy. Absolutely, let's get it done. Which is our cat flight, what flight name are they? Signore Sabre. Okay, Dagger Sabre, can you, it's a correction, Sabre Dagger, can you push forward and do a sweep of the combat area so we can move in? Hey Farm, uh, give us your heading and we'll just head 10 miles forward on that heading. 
We're presently pushing feet wet just to give ourselves a distance from the shore. If you could push yeah. in towards the Tumi now, we'll sweep in behind you. Alright, we'll push to Batumi now. Do you see us right in front of you? Tally. Hey, Sam. We just got, okay, we're gonna push towards Batumi. Direct to Batumi now. Alright, here we go. Okay, we'll give them a 20 second lead, then we'll follow. Two. Depressed, wasn't it? For just yeah, Roger. Yep. You've also got your goggles as well if you need them. Roger, sir. Saber dagger status. Yeah, Saber has two contacts, approximately seventy miles. One. One, three, from ours and your position on the deck. They're hot on us now. Missile, 
Protect your main charge, that's us. Uh, so ignore it. Tal explosion, 11 o'clock. Telly, full Telly. I just got a third band at 080 for 80 from my position. In addition to the two that are now 65 miles uh, off my nap. Copy. Whistler, can you see that 30 guy? Can you get a long bomb on him? Uh, I, I have eyes on the east end in front of us, my target bud. Okay. Yeah, I'm Whistler, uh, I think you're spiking me. Yeah. I got a radio, I got a radio, he's looking at, he's, he's, we found a hostile, it looks like he was attacking a helicopter, he's trying to separate him out. Helicopters, just land, just land, and he won't be able to find you. Turn your engines off. Copy. Trying to find a spot. Anyone know flankers have night vision? A10C's progress update. Sorry, four coming out, cameras landed. Okay, just wait for him to run out, run out of fuel and then go up again, uh, had a So, is he still with me? Uh, negative, um... Are you taken down by that missile? Combat spread, quarter mile, right. Uh, I'll try and give it a go then. Lead, any idea of distance to coast? I just thought it's getting darker, isn't it? It's not getting lighter. Eighth, um, we are approximately uh, 46 miles from time. Copy. Camera, use night vision. Tally on you, can you confirm our current heading? Proxy 
Boy, it's scary without night vision. Oh yeah, I'm trying to quiet targets now. Roger, Caps still sees us about 30 miles away. Yeah, I missed my teapot. Okay. Do what you got to do, Saber. Yeah, this target's right over Kobaletti. Any SAM coverage over there? Mix red and blue. Okay. Okay, boys, Capsies, Batumi, Capsies, Batumi, prosecuting. He's still hot, Senor, he's gonna engage. If you turn your night vision goggles off, you can actually see the houses. Twenty miles from the target. Lead what? Uh, distance. What distance can I expect to get a lock with um, SA? Uh, side arm, six miles maximum. Roger, that's fine. Guys, uh, range it by using your moving map. You can. Tally lead. We just got 110 for 40, which should be in front of you guys. We're coming down to support. Cap 15 miles. Yeah, I struggled to find anything to kill. <sighs> Alright, just don't, just be patient, don't put yourself at risk. Oh, I always am, I always am. Got uh, eyes on a Z23 in place. Eyes, Rich. All right, Will. Prosecute. Okay, I'm gonna push uh, down the coast a bit. It's like a fun attack. Copy. Are we uh, clear to engage? Yeah, clear to engage. Copy that. Lucky, Obi, uh, one of them came out of the clouds. 
Up to Angels 2-5 behind us. <laughs> Cap 10 miles. That's where it range, that's where it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a missile. Going defensive. How close were they? He was within three miles of me and I'm at Angels 2-5. How's the strike going, Cap? Just starting now. Cool. Cap has tone, ready to fire. What's the range of this missile, uh, Lee? Uh, four miles ish. Point is slightly upwards. Preparing to fire. Cap Magnum times two. Cap, cold. Cap going in with IR missiles. Well, hopefully it was a shack. Um, lead and three confirm you're in the game. Just turn the game, lad. Have spike something. Yeah, it looks like it's out of thirteen. Uh, three rifle, three is going defensive to the west. I don't know whether to fire, I don't know what I've locked, that's too... Need a cap. Hello, <laughs> four on the middle, so I'm heading in. Cap turning out, I don't think it was a holster. On slot, if you turn off your ECM, I should be able to burn through. Roger, ECM on. Cap 
Alright, visual, you can turn it back on. Back on. Cap shot by something, cap shot by something. I'm heading towards the Patumi from emergency landing. Limiter off, limiter off. Caution, caution. Limiter off, limiter off. Caution, caution. The fucking button to. Limiter off, limiter off. Generator, generator. Caution. Cap going in the drink. Good luck, boys. Motherfuckers. Limiter off, limiter off. Generator, generator. Oh, this ain't gonna be pretty, is it? Caution, caution. Let's get the F5 in the tail. The F5 is going to light those wings. Yeah, yeah, Bad to get shot. It's rough. Cosmic close. Oh, 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 close. O
Copy down there, we'll be two ABA from the big one. Probably not, we're struggling to find target. Comcat uh, comms check cap. Dagger, have you completed your mission? Comms check cap. And negative, uh, we haven't completed the mission. Uh, uh, the we don't know. We don't know the status of the area yet. Okay. How many casualties you take? Okay, boys, I had a quick, uh, Just sneaky cap. look. Um, okay, gotcha. Can, can you guys hear me? Yes, um, I had a... Well, you've destroyed almost all of the targets. There's only one more Strela. Uh, 
attacking, uh, covering Batumi. I suggest you land at Batumi, runway three run. Nobody know where these SAH are. Um, and after. try and land there. The, I can go for it if you want, Cap, but it be, could be suicide. Yeah, do it. Go a long way round because there's, um, uh, at the mouth of the estuary is where the SA-13 is. The SAH should be to the east side of Kobolei, just slightly northeast, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the region. I just can't. I, I'm, I'm in the right grid square. I just don't know exactly where it is. Have we got the A10 to get down there as well? It'd be nice to have yeah, A10 there. A10's yeah, on the station. Put down and have a look. I just don't want to be able to take off again though. A10, go round the back, land on runway 31. Go uh, yeah. via the town Kemal Pasha. Kemal Pasha, read back. Landing runway 13, fire at town Kemal Pasha. Negative, we're landing on the other runway now, runway 31, to avoid a uh, SA 13. 31, copy that, 31. Hello, we need to right. We have one bandit bearing 121 for 45 from Sakumi, Angels 11. What was that bearing from Sakumi? 121 for 44, Angels 11. That, that would be directly over Sanaki. So ignore it, Cap. Yeah, what's up, Cap? I'm down, but we've killed enough SAMs to land at Batumi from the land. As long as you don't go anywhere near the coast, you can land at Batumi on 3-1 from the land. Read back. We can land at Batumi on 3-1 from the land, but uh, Cap, uh, we still got Cap out here like 20 miles away. It's a little uh, it's risky. What should we do? Should we Just when you're ready. landing him anyway? No, land when you're ready. Land when you're ready. It's there when you're ready. Hostile Strella in question is at the mouth of the estuary. Okay, the mouth of the estuary. Rage and uh, kind of, um, cosmic to be ready and take off, and we'll go back to them. Okay, strike package one, cap. You cap that. Like you've got all three bandits being wet by the looks of it with you guys. Range is probably. Negative, you have to use lat lat long conversions camera if you want to do it. They're in the mission briefing. I can't access the mission briefing, it's expired. Roger, I get Soames. Soames or someone will be able to help. Should the uh, ground pounders land at Batumi Cap, Dacker? They're going down now so to land. Almost? Okay, cool. Just come with traffic. Three I think you just went past it um, uh, by one mile, camera. Can we get refueled at Batumi, Cap? I think you just went past it by 1.5 miles, camera, but you need Soames to confirm that. Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. Copy. Can't bother remaining, uh, Sam sites 
the Batumi? Uh, there is a. There are some left, but as long as we land from inland first, then we can ev evade them. Uh, do you want the SC-25 to bring some anti-radiation missiles just to see if we can clear some of them? Australia. Negative. Australia. IR only. Screen traffic, King Gears, turning final, runway 1 2. Camera on heading for hostiles, on heading. Copy. Not sure my engine's up to it. Gaging targets. Good man, uh, there should be two o Osers up there, just be careful. Okay. No pattern cipher, just stay like. in for a landing from the back. You're going to get whacked if you try and do any kind of pattern. Hey, firm, I'll keep an eye out for the SAM launchers. Okay, I've been going up and down the coast now. Still no launchers in me. Yeah, I'm not far from where it should be, so yeah, we might be safe. Mr. Lounge, Mr. Lounge. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shit, it got me. Put it down on the runway, it's on your left. Okay, Tally, Tally, I know where it came from. Yeah, engine, engine failure, engine failure, can I have to eject? Oh, fuck. What's the situation, Hog? Uh, Obi, I'm starting on my own cast now. Got hit by the SAM. Oh, get two down. I'm sold on the launch. I'm going to turn around. So I'm going to destroy now. Okay. If you give us a minute, we'll go up and just make sure the road's clear for you. Yeah, you call us up when ready and then we'll... Uh, I was just going to push south to the city. Hey, Sam. Roger. We'll follow you down. If you follow the waypoints that they headed to to get in there, uh, we'll be able to cover you from the uh, from the uh, left of our formation. Roger, right, so yeah, we'll head direct toward the oil um, rig when I'm turning. Roger that. So ignore it. Right, why are you doing exactly the opposite of what I said? I said if you go near the coast, you're dead. I'm not landing. I'm I'm not landing. I'm I'm coming on to three one. Right over the runway. But that's okay, right? Um, get ready to dodge. Cap, confirm all targets down. Have you killed two? I've killed two. Good man, back to base. Okay. Back where you come from. Just fly right over those four white lights, that's where the runway is. And then we're going to turn around and land on 3 1. Rifle. We can't turn the runway I lights on, because lights on. They'll, they'll bomb it if we do. Okay. Cap, confirm I'm landing where I took off from. Call, call ATC. This uh, it's not working, I thought right. I tried. Roger. Alright, alright, I'm turning around. Obi oh, thank God, the light. You are... Three bandits, one off the nose, angels, eight range, ten miles. Alright, Cap, 
Senores final. Flanking, right and left. Second bandit, your 11 o'clock, range 12 miles, hot on you. I'm just wet. Park off, just gonna right to left cross. Okay. Go right to left cross one, guys. Hey Sam, we're ready for you to come down. Come again? We're ready for you to land if you want. Copy that. Coming in forward on the way, one three. Cap. Roger. Alright, sounds good. Uh, Cap, you finished there? Do you want us to all oh, okay, down to you? Uh, are we still supposed to use runway 31 or 13? 31. Uh, Batumi is as good as three we can one. get it. Bring your planes down, but um, I need to give you some guidance to evade uh, existing SAMs. A10, don't get too close to the mouth of that estuary, you'll get shot down like the Harrier. I shot down what killed the Harrier. Roger. Are you bringing those Hornets over, Batumi? What's your score? Okay, sir, we're waiting for the range and um, to take off, clear the skies, and then we're going to all head down together. Copy, go very fast to try and uh, keep yourself as safe as possible. Being pitch black, that could have been a disaster. That was hard, man. That was hard. Yeah. That hard. I, yeah. I really struggled to find any targets on the mm. ground because every every time I thought I saw something, it fucking was a line post or go something and, um, like that. Go and check on um, spectators mm -hmm. and see what's left there. And I can't do it because I lose comms. There's the, there's the stuff up at the uh, around the harbour area, but nothing around oh. the airfield. I got the ZU23 on the spit. Can we land? The now? helicopters were annoying us because they kept giving us false returns, and then getting shot down by the flankers. Can we land? So we can um, protect them. One three guys, I can't see the Sams. Can we land at one? Uh, it, yeah, you're safe to land at Batumi. Uh, the, the danger is over to the north of it. Watch out. Okay, that's cool, guys. Um, we just about did the job then. It was fucking costly, but we did it. Okay, the other guys are going to just ferry down from the north now. Uh, that was pretty scary. Fun. I have no idea what we just saw. It's awful. Really? Yeah, you want to eat the fuck? Well, couldn't um, get a, any I can't kind of see shit. On him at all. It was like so, 16. And then we tried playing the runway right in front of me. And of course, the SG 25s didn't uh, prefer to call. I think it's SG 25s. Is useless, so. uh, they didn't call that they were taking off. So, we didn't have so night vision in the air. We were taxiing, and we kind of taxied slightly onto the runway. The difference is to ignore it. The, the flanker needs to operate low, otherwise, it's dead. And you can't operate low with no night vision. Tell me, runway. That's true. It's very hard. 
You seem to be doing just a fine job. Uh, no, I did not. Uh, I fired a couple of missiles at people. Yeah, Indigo took me Same out. here. I was on the way home. I thought I was being... I thought I was being foxed on by a Tunguska, so I went up into the uh, clouds to try and avoid optical targeting. Did you die or something? Alright, uh... I did my missile get through to you? Uh, yeah, yours, it was, uh... Onslaught server. Yeah, it's been from the... Oh, sorry, Cap. Ruby Cop. Oh, nice. Ruby. Right up the cabinet. Who shot the helis, or was it uh, AI? No, oh, that was, um... Indigo oh, shot one. Oh, yeah, every have, single one, including me, right at the very end. We bandits on FA. Nearest to the end. We really didn't need to be there today. They're higher up to our other end of the ground. Towards the end, as with everybody else there. All they have to do is run between 1 to 79. Oh, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Do we have unlimited healers? Negative, we Probably not after this. No, 23 frames. There's a lot of people dying to ask the same. It's hard. It's been really hard. Um, uh, Frogfoot's cap, just one. Cap set, send. You cap are. Sent. You are free to get to Batumi, you are free to attack Batumi that are some minor stands left. If there's an effort to attack, land on runway 13 without putting a pattern. If you do a pattern, you will be killed. Roger. Copy that. It'll be interesting to see how those landings go, because I've put some holes in it. A what? In Batumi? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? That explains why I thought... Like, I'm not right when it touched down, my right wheel like, felt like it went into it. Mine did too. Yeah. That's what I said, that's, if you try landing on there, you're gonna break your landing gear. It was, it was a little rough. <laughs> There's four big holes in it. <laughs> I thought for sure I was just gonna miss my descent. Could you confirm it's I had to fly it quite a bit. Okay, we can do runway from one three up to me. Just leave the circle okay, sure, for a little bit longer coming. so I can make sure I have all the tack for you. Technically, we shouldn't be able to land, um, uh, Shifty, but I, I didn't realize you'd bombed it, so, um, Attention, cat I couldn't get near the place, but that bandit, ship was shooting at us. Out out it. Uh, I, I was scraping the floor trying to get bombed. Yeah. Maybe idea. just consider it lightly bombed because it's still landable. I think red. Is yeah, we'll there. give it. We'll give it a um, uh, uh, a nerf or something. I don't know what yet. Yeah. Short and maybe. The three you guys did really well. I flew. I did. Good job, Layton. You did it. Yeah. I didn't do much, but I did it. You did good. I None of us two did shots much. in anger, and I don't think any of them hit. But we kept uh, our guys alive, so that's that's all that matters. Hmm. With the exception of Cap. Cap, how did you die? We just crashed. Got shot down by Tunguska. Uh, we, we couldn't target them. We, we, they don't show up on IR. It's a complete fucking Super waste. Cap. Fuck what did do? Ruby just crashed. <laughs> why, why did he crash? That, that's a, that counts as an airframe loss on land. That's because it's very hard with flankers when you've got no night vision. I already got night vision. Got it. Uh, we'll call the damn runway and put the fucking lights on. That's fair enough. I died that we had a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Still dim, but I mean, I guess it's. But so you can at least, like, fucking see it closing in as you're, like, approaching it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you, there, so you, can, you can do you it. See where stuff was. And then you just look at your design. Oh, yeah, you guys clear to take off. Hey, fam, chest rage, way out on the right. This is very dim at night, though. Um, it wasn't meant to be a night mission. It was meant to be a. Uh, uh, I just I didn't realize it was September. I thought it was June, so I thought it would get dark at ten. <laughs> it actually, got dark at eight. I was like, oh fuck, this ain't gonna work, is it? Yes, yeah, we went over the line 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 line. Line. Oh, pitch black. Yeah, so that's that added because I great introductory mission for the cadets. Yes, it is. Does it get late at ten where you live, Cap? No, this is because it's a September, and yes, it does. Um, it's because um. Yeah, How north you are. I, I'd planned to be bombing course. these guys in the broad daylight, but obviously just they just can't operate in the... <laughs> Harriers just can't operate at night for some reason, it's not working. Uh, Harriers can operate at night, they well, don't have an issue. They, 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 they can, it's just very difficult. You've got to really, it's difficult to find your target. If you're using your T-Pod, etc., you can pick the targets, but it's 
very difficult. You have to have a good idea where they are. Hang oh, on was, a minute. Was... Hold the night attack. What are you on about? Exactly on thermal. Yeah, but unfortunately, when they're all yeah. in the city, all you can see is lots and lots of bright spots all over the place. Is I never actually... saw a single body. Yeah, I, I, I found one and I killed it. I'm finding nothing and losing. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah, that's that harder. Pretty much. Yeah, well. We've got a couple foxes out. Yeah. They're just shooting someone. It's like cars and stuff. Are they still? I thought the mission was out. There. No, they've got to move, ferry themselves down to um, the Tubi, and the Red Bull is still interrupting, yeah. so they've got to go slow and quick. Is there any caps still up? Yeah, there's... Uh, there's it looks like Indigo just ate one. Oh, oh who's nice. that? Is he red? Oh, he's red, right. he's Yay! red. Yay! What a... Teaching those noobs a lesson. <laughs> you're about to get pissed and you're like, yes! <laughs> yeah, that, might have, that might have been rage shooting. Good, double loop. Alright, over. we've got close targets, times two just to the east, and one just to the south. So, we're getting quite close. Oh, be a new guy. One of the noobs in the F-18 almost killed a Hornet there by uh, nearly crashing and someone's wake. That was so close. Almost. Hey, comedy days in GR are returning. Yeah. During that strike, uh, there could have been some mid-air collision. Yeah. yeah. We were all flying around like in the same area. The thunder. Right, they are 40 miles away from Toomey. Let's just go straight in, boys. Get those airframes down there. Oh! oh watch. Rage's stream. What do you want to see? Yeah. A lot? <laughs> you see black. Yeah. Just Got a call cool. heading 135 from the Angels 14. This was a day to really trust your instruments. Yeah. Definitely yeah. getting rid of that. Today today. Oh, yeah. I can't even read your instruments in the flanker. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Because if you turn the light on, it, it you can't see anything out the window. <laughs> that's a weird thing for me. Even now, a v, a v light source was like flickering on and off. One of an Amram just shot at one of the guys. Is that Rage's he's, brain? He's a one-man army, army at the moment. No, I think it's his. Okay. I hope so. Yeah. Because I couldn't play in that. Rage just got shot up at the SAT. Gonna miss. Gonna miss. Come on. He's not close. Nice yet. aggressive. Aggressive notch there. I'm lost the game 54 going out from someone. Go on. Go on, aim 54. I can't see a bloody thing out there, boy. Are you watching? Oh, you're on spectators? I'm on spectators watching an AIM-54 go for something. Gotcha. So who landed at Batumi and crashed? No one actually um, crashed landing, it's just the SAMs. We couldn't take the SAMs out. So we tried landing um, in the SAMs and they just kept shooting us down. I think they only shot me down before the A-10 picked it. To locate it and collect. Oh, uh, two seven zero. Uh, so. Oh guys, I've got oh, the same fifty four. Is going for a birdie. What is it? It's a. I oh, was a burning flank. I know it's never going to catch it. Scratch it. Uh, except the flank just turned off into it. Yeah, he might hit it. This might hit. Where is it? I don't know. Where it is. It's a M fifty four going for a flank, and the flank oh, is going right into it. He is. This could be like, sexy time, boys. This could be sexy oh. time. Or it's gonna fly straight through. It won't go bang. Yeah, probably. 3,000 altitude. Oh, it disappeared. It disconnected. Oh. Re! Caps reing with whatever the opposite to delight is. Displeasure? Yes, that. That, that, that stroller down there was actually happiness. rolling around. That was quite annoying. Which? We need Rage and Cosmic to think about coming uh, to Batumi now. If anyone has DAS comms, DAS boot. Could those frogs go any slower? I should get my riot shirt this week. Oh, we've got a bloody AV8 guy, King Gear. Was he flying with us? 
Yeah, he survived. Yeah, yeah. He, I he, he, was your boy. Oh. he went. Oh, he, he, he was bingo, so I had to RTB. Oh, I got confused. I thought that was someone else. I get so confused. Right, he's three. He was three, wasn't it? So he went home. Yeah, he was back. three. He got he got home safe. Good boy. I was I was RTBing, and you called me back down again. <laughs> right, I remember. Right, you've got to get back to the 15. You'd better go west and get the 15s down here. Chad, this is 3. Are we cleared for a visual approach into Batumi? As long as it's clear. Cosmic just fired Correct. another pair of. Uh... Go straight in on 1 3. No pattern, otherwise you'll die. Copy. You tell them from the land. No, it doesn't matter now. We've cleared enough Sam's out. You can go either way. Um, okay. I've told Onslaught to go west because he's getting a bad guy heading at him, but he's not listening. And I'm worried he's going to get shot down. No, here he goes west. Right. That's better. Rage and uh, Cosmic are covering them. Peter Phoenix is going out on two enemies. Roger. Let's see how that does. Oh, yeah. Can anyone see the body? Yeah. Yeah. Got no jo yes, Joy. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's get him. Get that flanker. Burn his fuel down. Come on, come on. Run into the missile. Run into the missile. No, he's gonna outrun it, boys. He's gonna outrun it. Ah, uh, he's escaped. Captain Bender is somewhere north of Kobaleti. Roger, the boys are firing missiles at something 20 miles north of Copiletti. Just leave the server up during the debrief and I'll make sure the TAC is long enough we'll get all the combat data. No. Right, we've got the boys coming on the final um, one home now. King Gear is 18 miles away. Raid is kind of flying dangerously close to the coast. Yeah, I've got to see that shit. They really want to get into a fight. They're gonna, if they run out of fuel, they're not going to buy us enough time to land. Like, SA I'm more concerned about him losing a 15, a 15 since they have less of them. Yeah, that's a good point. Right, no, 300 fired. Yeah. I wish those Hornets would expedite. We need them home safe quickly so we can get those F-15s back. Where are the Hornets? They're miles out to sea, to the west. Rage and Cosmic, fuel state. Oh, I see him. Cosmic's 9.0. Rage, fuel state. Not listening, is he? Copy, carry on both of you. All units cap, all units cap. When you land at Batumi, come straight in on 1 3, straight in on 1 3. No go around, no pattern. Cap, reach that is fuel. Coming at 13 miles from the west. Did you say 9,000? He said 8,000. I'm on a stream. Yeah, it's fine. I guess it's not transmitting SRS for some reason. I'm calling back in about two mics. Right, okay, all's looking well. Onslaught, just beware, you've got a Harriet in front of you, um, who will be about one mic in front of you. Wake turbulence. Right. Indigo is just taken. Roger, he is from Kutsezi, so he is dangerous. 
But uh, I better not tell them that, that will be cheating. So many traffic, Dagger 3 is in missiles. Those Harriers need to get back. Harrier. Or Harrier. get down, rather. Yep, Harrier is uh, six miles out now. Looks like the King Gear is first to go in. I hope I'm not going to get here. I think I can't see the runway, look. Or is he just getting on the radio? Um, I don't know, he's got it, he's just getting on the radio. Request sound for you. All units landing, you have permission to dump your weapons, we do not simulate weapons losses. Cover that, take it to your stomach. Unit flight, we have a bandit, your 3 o'clock, uh, no, 9 o'clock, sorry, 9 o'clock, range 40 miles, heading hot towards Petsumi. Two times bandit. Traffic dagger three years on final street and approach. Rage Cosmic, the boys are all landing now, so come and protect Batumi. There's not much of you use of you up there anymore. Cosmic copy. Roger that copy. We're just heading out to the west and then down south. Three, can you give flares uh, on your final approach so you can help guide others in that might not have uh, our vision? Flares coming out from the guy landing if you need to help on finals. We've made it, boys. We've made it. Top notch work, hurry up, park it, and disconnect. Copy. Right, they're all going in for landing now. It's going to be one massive clusterfuck. Some of them are in bloody formation. Which I usually like, but... He might keep the turn. runway lights on. Maybe he shouldn't just immediately just... Mm, I don't know, I kind of want him off the runway. We'll see. Onslaught on fine. But to me, traffic onslaught on fine. Cat, there's a. There's something shooting me up into me right now. What is it? It looks like a BRDM. It looks like there's a Strella shooting. I'm there, but I don't see anything. Okay, press the parking through. Uh, put your brakes on, disconnect there. That's good enough. Copy. Um, Frogfoot, be careful. There is AAA shooting onto the runway. So expedite as soon as you can. Park and disconnect. And the fucking lights go out. Jewish traffic, Shagan inbound. On the west, 13 miles, 413 straight in. Oh, no. They just leave one guy there on the tarmac. Two me out, two me airfield. I'll leave the 25 there because it's expendable. The fucking light should be able to show him though. Oh, missile, missile! Uh, here, I'm still oh. 10 miles out. Flare, 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 and land, flare and land, flare and land, flare and land. That's indigo. Is it working? It's working, it's working. The Hornets here, I hope it's going to be loaded. The one more is on the airfield. It's from the ground, it's a shredder, it's a shredder! 
More flares! More flares! Guys, there's Estrella that's moved onto the base. Estrella has been moved onto the base. It's shooting you as you land. Lots of flares. You can survive. Captain Jim, he does use Coming in low. Trullable. Probably. Lights are on. We're going to try to have a plan. Uh, 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 27 miles. Tell Onslaught to turn his lights off, but stay connected. Intercity traffic, Bozo inbounds, eight miles out. Onslaught, uh, stay on there to help the lights stay on. The rest of you, don't go near the coast, just cross it. Only cross it, don't travel near it. Oh shit! Roger, roger. There are now a triple, there is now AAA moving units moved on to Tumi. Uh, you can still beat it. Any of them have weapons left that can take it out? Stay and start flaring. Do you have any chance to survive? Boxing on an indigo. More flares. Any cap, any cap flights about? We have got a bandit within 20 miles of the team. Hey, Hornet landing, too low, Hornet landing, slightly too low. Better. 23 knock. Stop on the wrong way, disconnect, do it. Estrella starts to move on us. I'm not getting them. Cheeky cheeky. Blue notch. Did Estrella actually hit me on the back? Uh, yeah. Oh, I think he's looking like he's looking around behind us now. That's just from there. Heading about zero. I don't see him. Roger, I have a visual on this burner, but I can't get a lock. And I can't burn in after him. Hornet comes to a start to disconnect. That was exciting. You managed to land? Hello? Copy that. Yeah, I was, I was about two minutes behind you, Onslaught. <laughs> then when you, when you went, uh, when you went, when you fetched in, I was like, oh, he just disappeared. Can't find him. <laughs> so I was just flying by the by the F10 map, and I was like, alright, he's right here. Who was the first? Who was the first, first Frogfoot? Right. Oh, he was friggin' hero. He got three stellar shot here and a bunch of AAA as, as he was landing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was That's behind him. Blasting him him up on the runway. Uh, and I uh, seen uh, air go up. I was oh, just yeah. oh, using the landing mode, and I guess he can give a shot. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was coming in, I looked down, and here goes Sagan underneath me. I was like, well, hell, stay to the left, buddy. <laughs> that was exciting. That was exciting. Halo lead, you yeah, might take, uh, one side or the other. Yeah, it looks like Little side slip hit. for the end. I, I did get hit by this. Copy, two's got right. Yeah, 
Yeah, side slip it. I'm trying to stop the thing. I landed a little fast. Well, the SA-13 should be in all the missiles by now. Yeah. Uh, we start everything on the middle. You can see it fine until the rain started. Yeah, he's not going to be able to reload if he's on Missed the bloody runway, boy. Come on, get back on it. Get back on it. Power. <laughs> Power. Ooh, it's gonna Power. be swimming. It's gonna be rough. He's, He's got it. it. He's got it, boys. Only break to a stop and disconnect. Jesus, another one came in right behind him. I need to just hit his fucking wake turbine to leave the crash. Or do you stay there? Oh, uh, close, close. Right? Right? Indigo ejected. Shot yeah, by yeah, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Captain, happy with that, boys? Yeah. How's the yeah. server, Cap? <laughs> Beautiful. You'll love this mission. Lots of people here. <laughs> the Avengers at Cobbleletti shot fun. down like four flag like, like, On it, expedite that the connection, or a poor marshal is coming your way. Rage, Captain, Cosmic, get your asses down here, please. Roger, I'm on finals. I'm on finals. Cosmic's just coming in. Oh my god, look at that angle. That is an interesting rage angle. I don't know how he sees rage it. Rage angle. Them. Wow, that was a tough landing. He's probably following the poppy lights right there. He's got it. He'll be alright, boys. Yeah, I followed the poppies in. It's something I can see. He's coming in really fast, I hope so. He's off yeah, center, he's center, he's off center, he's got it, he's got it. He's going too fast, I think he's going to go off the uh, runway. Okay, F-15, you have tanks on the, on the airport, so uh, come to a stop and disconnect. Say that. You're running our runway, Rich. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, he's right, boys. He's alright. Right, right. checking job, cat. I hope the subscribers don't protest because of the visibility. No, you won't be able to see shit. Come on. <laughs> Suck it up. Imagine how we feel landing in that that's shit. That is exactly <laughs> right. Imagine yeah, how we feel landing in that shit. shit. I, like how, I like how you gave the uh, new guys an easy first mission. Good indoctrination. Indoctrination. Yeah. Oh, missile missile. Missile. oh, oh yeah. Put it down, man. Put it down, missile, man. Put missile. it down, man. Flares, 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 flares. Yes, he missed, he missed, he missed. Oh, God, this just never stops. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Oh, it just rearmed wow. at the last oh, moment. Holy, <laughs> holy hell. Yeah, rearmed, didn't it? Motherfucker. Yeah. Found the wrong way. Does that count as a safe time frame, Cap? It must, yeah, it's must fine, it's fine. Don't do it now. Don't do it now, Cosmic. He's right. fine. He's okay. He's okay. All oh, units, disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. Jesus, that was emotional. I'll stay in for the server sake. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that time getting hit twice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! How <laughs> uh, about that, boys? Uh, uh, was, holy shit. Right, <laughs> just getting out, boys, stand by. You should have seen the pasting onslaught got once he cut down yeah, on the runway. Yeah, that was, that was some hot shit. Right, come on, let me load. Right, welcome back, boys. How about that for an indoctrination first mission? Welcome <laughs> <laughs> right. to the uh, Reaper! Irish weather, the that's all. The darkness and weather was awful. Does someone want to get chopsticks and soaps in here? Because they played, didn't they? And then to give, if, give us their version of events. Right, okay, everyone. Um, we need to go do some debriefs. So I just need to get my intelligence up. But God, that was a hard, hard mission. Just all of our, just our systems in blue side just weren't working. Right, let's just go through it logically. Um, can we please have a debrief from Buick? Those were the guys charged with Task Force 2 Protection. Send. Um, right, so we took off uh, 
few minutes before uh, Halo and the SU-25s. And then we headed south and we just kind of a cha- established a chainsaw there. And it took, what was it, once the F-18s came out, uh, one red plane tried to come in behind them whilst the cap were pushing back in just to make sure that they were clear to RTB. So when we turned around uh, back towards Kumi, we see one target at co out uh, with us turning back in. He obviously decided that he couldn't get the F-18, so that's the one that I managed to get. And then I think Cosmic got one after that. Do you want to describe that, Cosmic? Where was this at? Uh, you got a kill. So I couldn't confirm any of the kills that I got. I don't think I got any. I think it was just pushing them away. Yeah, that's the job. And Grump, what happened to you? Uh, I was in a MLM turn, uh, evading from uh, one of the flankers and black. Roger. Well, wow. it is a that's a contagious. Contagious it things. is, isn't it? It's an F-15 thing at the moment. How, so what losses is that? One times F-15? That's one F-15, yeah. Let's take that off. Stand by. Well, let me fucking type. I guess one of the problems as well is if um, you just got to really check out your G-meter because, of course, the sky's black. And if you're looking out, making sure you're not going to hit the deck or anything, uh, you can't tell if the screen's going black. Uh, so you just really want to check right, that yeah. G. Onslaught. Onslaught. Yes. It won't. It says view only after request oh, permission right. to edit. Oh right. Sorry, sorry. I need to change it to. All right. Okay, boys. Uh, what uh, next was Saber send? Saber send. You alright? Oh, it's hard, isn't it, boys? Senior is still muted and deafened. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> anyone else? Layton, send. Uh, we just kind of flew around. Uh, what was it? dagger? Uh, I don't think anybody got a kill from uh, we didn't lose anybody baby bear couldn't get on comms hmm. I need to sort it now they lost okay. me we lost uh, I think you lost Whistler oh did we yeah I was just saying you lost me yeah what happened Whistler I ate an ER oh, uh, we were uh, within 20 miles uh, we saw something on data link and we're having issues spiking it but it was directly in front of us, and uh, we turned away, and uh, we got a missile alert alarm. We thought it was maybe a Tunguska that had shot us, that had picked up us on radar. So I went clouds high, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not in control of the chaff, and so the ER caught up to us. Roger. Um, okay, didn't you have a Mirage 2000 in your group? I didn't see one landing. Yeah, it was Baby Bear. He, we didn't have comms with him, so I'm not sure what he Anyone did. Anyone know, is he know. here? Yeah, I'm here, Cap. So what happened to you? Did you die or what? Negative. I could not take off. I had control issues and I could not tune to 123 to talk to my team. And there was no preset for 123 or for the main channel. Copy, get it sorted. Uh, next is us, Cypher. Okay, so um, we took off in one piece, uh, even with that strong crosswind. Uh, we rolled our uh, attack plan as planned. Fortunately, when we did get on target, it was very difficult to um, spot the ground targets, even with the uh, systems we had. It was just every light source going, so you'd like zoom in and it was another window or something else. Um, I managed to get a uh, sidearm which took out a Tanguska, and I almost managed to get fi- also got a visual on a ZG23 emplacement which I mapped. Um, then uh, I RTB'd, w- I began to RTB, but call back to Batumi, and as I went into land by Batumi, I got hit by Strider take it out um king gear did well from my t- what i can tell you took out a couple of targets rtb beat up to uh sakumi and then got down to uh batumi uh our cat flight did really well kept the i i don't think any of us really got tangled no. by any enemy hostiles uh and then whatever happened to you cap uh I just fucked yes. up, as usual um i mean your death wasn't in vain though your death showed the position of the last uh strella uh, to the A10 chap who went in and killed it, so that was great. So that, so you dying allowed yeah, everyone to land. I, I, I didn't die as well. I managed to eject, so eject on friendly terrain as well. But yeah, frame okay. down. 
Okay, so take off two eighty-eight Bs uh, on Slu. Uh, the, the Hog made it back. The other AGS, as the other, my boy made it back, which was nice. Uh, so that's all good. Okay, uh, Halo send. Right, so yeah, we hung at Gudata for five or ten minutes while we programmed these JSOs in and also allowed um, Buick to get ahead of us and clear the airspace. And we took off, climbed to Angels 30, 32, directed target, released the 36 number JSOs at about 45 miles. Um, everyone got the missiles away. At least 10, minimum 10 got through. The runway had took on multiple hits from what I could see. Um, so as soon as we did that, RTB to Sukumi, refueled and rearmed, hung around then and waited for the cap to rearm. We were considering going doing the same thing to Katezi. We would have had time, um, but I thought it might annoy some people, so we didn't do both. Um, and then we ferried down to Batumi um, and landed there. I briefly engaged a bandit about 20, 15, 20 miles over, away from Batumi. Just got some Fox Rees off to turn him around, which I think it did, and then landed. Um, everything went well. Perfect performance, I would say. No losses? Zero losses, and we even got a great simultaneous launch with the uh, Frogfoot's onslaught. Managed to launch his KH-58 oh, nice. just as the JSOs were going overhead. <laughs> All right, nice, boys. That's a group of the match. Hornets, no losses, and mission completely complete. Chuff for um, that. A lot of that's to do with the cap as well, I would say. I think mm. we had good coordination. We knew where each other was all the time, and they yeah, um, kept more people away from us. Roger. Well done, boys. Um, right, next, our oh, Wildcat. Uh, it was uh, very dicey. Uh, so me and Elo went up with Halo to the uh, Sunaki. Uh, we managed to... We didn't really manage to take out much because uh, the Sunaki was uh, defended by a lot of SA-15s which shot down our uh, radiation missiles. Um, I managed to take out one SA-11. Um, after that, we RTB and then we headed with the Hornets over to Batumi uh, and managed to land with a Strela shooting at me <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, yeah, Cap did a very good job. A very good job. Uh, we uh, we relayed information to one another, and they were pretty much always around to help to clear the airspace or deal with anything that popped up uh, near us. Well done, boys. And yeah, that's about it. Good job. Uh, whiskey was part of us. Uh, Seahorse was our um, our wild weasel. And he went in and took a missile for us, basically, like we wanted. Um, um, take a yeah. F5 off, please, Onslaught. All right, yeah. uh, Florida was essentially part of us. We've kind of basically covered him. Um, he, he did some good killing, uh, which we're happy with, and then landed, which is nice. And is it the Choppers next? Uh, choppers, oh. send. Ooh, I think I'm the only one left. Um, we took off and pretty much got mullered in, in the first sort of two minutes um three of my teammates got uh, shot out of the sky uh, i managed to evade but i don't think he saw me um managed to take out two targets and as i was making my way back home um indigo shot me out of the sky <laughs> oh no so i think he managed to get all four of us Moja, well, at least you killed the Osas. That was, I mean, it's hard to do pitch black in a Huey with no real method of navigation. Uh, so, we're pretty happy about that. Uh, so, that's four. Take four choppers off, please, Onslaught. Roger. A cap, just uh, that kill that I was saying I got that was behind mm -hmm. the uh, the F 18s after they dropped their bombs. It was, in fact, one of their bombs. Oh, wow. And so you uh, can pick it up. Came up as an enemy on the radar. Oh. Yeah, but they haven't got RVF, have they? So they've bombed yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Never mind, boys. Um, uh, Red 4, tell us as best you can what you got up to. Shifty is not here for the debrief, so it'll be, have to be one of the other guys. Okay, boys. Uh, so it was a very difficult mission for us. Uh, really hard to see. And obviously we couldn't get that close to the cap guys because they were doing a very good job. 
Um, we got Indigo was man of the match for us. If he's here, yeah, man. Same yours. Well, at the start, me and Shifty went to bomb Batumi, but um, none of the bombs hit. So yes. after that, turned away, found all the helicopters, got three of them. Camera go away, and then later on, he popped up on the SA. So I went after him and got him. And then it was just playing with the enemy cap. Yeah, I stuck my head up too high. Roger. Okay, good job. Uh, good job. It's, it's a hard, that was a hard job. That was a hard mission for Blankers. It always was going to be. You pinned in. Yeah. It's not a great deal you can do. Uh, this this helicopter stuff it is new, but... Uh, here you can see what the difference is. Why you can't mix jets with helicopters on. That's exactly right. Yeah, exactly well. right. Uh, red loss is shifty lost two indigo lost one and ruby lost two i lost one so two losses on indigo on yeah, the scoreboard ind yeah, indigo lost two didn't it yeah. yeah uh i lost one and seven seven right so it's five if i've got this right blue four lost five uh Red 4 lost 7. Okay, so I'm happy with that ratio, boys, but just a little bit in front. Uh, just write that down um, on there on slot, so I'll go and change my C drive file. Right, really good mission. Very proud of you guys. It was really hard. I mean, you know, I died straight away. I'm not good enough to do this shit. Um, but we got it done. <laughs> I should say, yeah, I mean, we just, just got the Batumi shit done. It was stressful. We really struggled. But by hook or by crook, we just got Batumi cleared. There was, there was like a Strella left and a couple of AAA left at the end, but... And they were they had moved on to the base, so they started shooting us. But we still legitimately made it through. Uh, so I'm happy. We've just done that mission. So good work, boys. Right. Really good. I would just, just like to thing. add that I think the coordination between all the flights was actually mm. really good. The amount of comments between the different flights, and there was it wasn't idle chatter. It was relevant, effective information that was being passed back and forth, which allowed us to keep the Red Force pressed mm. quite nicely. I'll do that. Any final thoughts otherwise before I head off and try and get some stuff done? Uh, just saying the uh, the Reds seem to have, a, probably because it's night time, a bit of difficulty around Kubeletti as they went over, two of them got killed by the SAM sites. Kubeletti. Yeah, those IRs are hard to see. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought there was three. I, I remember I saw three uh, Avenger three. kills. Roger, I've seen two so far. Maybe there's one at the end. Yeah. I got killed right at the end. Roger, whatever works. Hey, farm, there we go. Yeah. Cap, I'll get you that track file. Okay. Okay, good work, boys. That's I'm gonna go. Good. Oh, yeah, good. I'm just oh. gonna go and get stuff done. Um, Wednesday, we're gonna push on, try and get Kutazi. Uh, see how fast we can get. I'll see you guys later. See you, see you. See you. See you. See you. See you.